Hello everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mary Emelogu, a YouTuber based in Abuja, FCC Nigeria. On this channel, we talk about motherhood, lifestyle, vlogs and food. And on food, I talk about bakery tips. So today, I'll be showing you guys how we bake our milk bread. So you are welcome to my bakery. We stay in a plaza. So... <laughs> Today, I'll be showing you guys how we produce milk bread in our bakery. You can see our digital scale and all the buckets we have on this stainless table are called recipe buckets. So when we come in the morning, first thing we do is clean everywhere and bring out our recipe bucket to measure the recipe. What is recipe? Recipe are all the ingredients we use in baking our bread. Look at this. That is called Big Bake. This Big Bake is our improver. Improver is one of the ingredients that helps to improve the quality of your bread. What we are putting now is called our preservative. The preservative we use in our bakery is called calcium propionate. So we are done measuring our recipe and we have poured our flour in the mixer. This is called the mixer. So that bucket consists of all the recipe we are using, the sugar, the milk, the improver, the preservative. Here is our chilled water. We use ice to bake. So this one is called the yeast. After putting all the dry ingredients, we put the yeast. So we are trying to measure the adequate amount of yeast we are going to add to the flour. After this, we mix. This one is called dry mixing. You mix and allow all the ingredients to go around the flour before pouring water it takes time if you don't dry mix before pouring water some ingredients will stick to some particular parts of flour some will be sweet some will be bitter some will be tasting yeast some will be tasting preservative so this dry mixing helps it to go around before pouring our chilled water this chilled water we use makes our bread come out very smooth and fine you can see what the mixer is doing He's using the knife to scrape part of the mixer. If not, the flour will stick to some parts of the mixer. Just the way we do fufu. We do apple in Nigeria. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying this video because this is the most requested video. And I'm here to give it to you guys. So it's time to measure our salt. Yes, so next After thing we are adding what is our sweet. salt. You can see us measuring salt. So now we are mixing it wet. We are going to mix this flour until it gets fluffy. This is the tough part of this work. Just watch and enjoy. You will find out there are some flaws sticking, sticking under, the under the down part, part of, of the, the mixer. mixer. Of, of so we are going to take our time to be bringing them out. You can see the mixer doing a lot of work, trying to bring out those flaws so that they can be on top and mix together. This bakery work is a tedious job. It's not for women. It's only men that can do this work. So we are going to mix and mix and mix until it gets fluffy. And we will add the remaining parts of the ingredients like butter, milk, other things. I don't need to tell you guys my recipe. <laughs> yeah. This is a whole lot of work. Mm. 
the mixer has the slow button it has the fast button so when it's time to press the slow we press when it's time to press the fast button we press but for now he's using the slow button so that everywhere can go round every ingredients can go round so we are done mixing so it's time to bring out the flour on top of the stainless table he's done mixing this one is about we are scraping the mixer so we are done the same mixer is the one that cuts the dough you can see the dough on top of the stainless table so as he's cutting two molders are molding you can see how they're grabbing it and molding it they're putting it on a tray on that tray they're putting it you will see that they've mixed butter and oil to grease the body of the dough you can see it there so there is a guy by my side he's there mixing the oil vegetable oil and butter this is our pants our aluminium pants the guy is now applying the butter and the oil mixed together so after applying he will be putting putting it one one each on each pan the reason why we rub this butter this is the butter and the oil the reason why we rub it is for it not to stick to the pan you can't be washing the pan every day we wash it like every two weeks so that when they rub the oil everything will stick everything will just come out smooth just look at what they're doing as they're cutting they're molding as they're molding they're putting it in the pan and somebody is by the side covering the aluminium pants and packing it under the table this makes the work go very very fast that is our digital skill you can't work without your digital skill of course you can't guess while working this molding as they're molding it it looks so easy right is very difficult and most times it can make your palm your hands pain you not just your palm can make make your hands pain you so much can you see under the table they are packing the aluminium pants they are covering it and packing it under the table so that when it's time to load the work in the oven everything will be easy yes that's where he's loading it you can see right so it's time to load the work you can see the dough it has risen to the top of the pan so it's time to load the work in the oven this is our baker our supervisor <laughs> raymond is doing the job one of the best staff so this is our deck oven he has opened the first deck he's loading it after loading the first deck he will load the second deck load the third deck maybe we we'll allow the work to proof to rise very well before owning the oven We are almost done with the first deck.
So it's time to load the second deck. So we are done. This is our oven when the bread is fully baked. You will be hearing this sound. Pim, 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 showing lights. Trying to alert you. Though we call it alarm. It's trying to alert you wherever you are that the work is ready for you to remove it. And the bread is ready. First thing we do is to remove the trays just bring it out then start removing the covers of the the covers of the pants after removing the covers of the pants they start bringing out the bread heating it on the stainless table for the bread to fall out <laughs> so someone is by the side waiting with the stainless racks to collect the bread you can see it's time that's how they hit it so someone is here about to collect the bread the person is already packing you can see the stainless rack and yeah our bread is ready so after removing the bread we are going to move it to where the cooling fan will cool it the industrial fan we are almost done so this is the cooling chamber our bread is ready for packaging so we are just going to package it and about to sell <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up like comment encourage us and share we are done bye <laughs>